All right, cool. So we're going to take a look at um, what we actually recorded out there. So you click PDR, which stands for Performance Data Recorder. You've got all your options here. So let's go over to Recorded Sessions, and you can see the two we did in valet mode, uh, and then the one that uh, we set up. So this would be like if you're on a track or just doing something for fun. So let's go through it here. Um, you can see uh, what gear is selected. So right now we're in first. Um, interesting, since it's shooting out of the windshield, you actually see the wipers go off. You've got your RPMs and your center of gravity and your steering angle. And actually early on here, we get a little squirrely because the, uh, the pavement's uh, so damp today. So it'll be interesting to see kind of how that is uh, represented. So it's right about here. There it is. So you can see actually it showed you that the traction control kicked in there. Um, and I guess that could be kind of interesting if you go around the track once with traction control, then you turn it off and kind of see where it was, you know, hindering you or helping you. Um, of course, most people on the track are going to want to turn it off. So the video looks a little washed out. Um, you're also getting in the corners a little bit of cropping um, from, from the lens. So the, the corners are a little bit darker. Of course, today it's a kind of a rainy, overcast day, so I'm sure the video is going to look different uh, on a sunny day. Good amount of detail for what it is. I mean, it's about what you would expect from an earlier generation GoPro. Uh, but of course, the really cool thing beyond just the video is that it's live recorded all of uh, this kind of telemetry information about, about your drive. And if you tap on the screen, let's see if we can scrub forward. Yeah, that's actually really good live scrubbing. Um, keeps up with you pretty well. So this is where we turned out onto the highway. Again, a little squirreliness. You know, of course you just, when you're driving a Corvette, you want to get on it and uh, come up to this construction, so. And then I know there was a spot where we saw, oh, <laughs> that's interesting, a, a water droplet going right over the lens. Uh, it's not being responsive, there we go. All right, so there's a spot where we saw the BMW i8. There it is, that's kind of cool. So here is uh, Jeremy passing in the I-8 flashing his lights there. Get a little away from the uh, construction worker. Hmm. My hands are a little cold, so that could be why it's uh, not being as responsive. But let me jump into one of the valet modes. So the thing about this is um, you can set the system to automatically record when you put it into valet mode. And the way you do that is just through settings, you select valet mode, you enter a code, and then you re-enter that code, and then it locks uh, so that it's automatically recording, and it locks uh, some of the compartments so that you could keep some valuables in it. Um, and the one thing that I didn't like about that is that the um, system doesn't indicate at all uh, to the driver that it's recording them. Uh, I think that could create some some issues around privacy. Um, but like I said before, I, I like that Chevy's moved forward with the system, but I think it would be good for whenever it's recording um, to give you some sort of flashing red light or some sort of indication that you're being recorded. So that one didn't really record very much at all. And then here... Yeah, we've got a bit more. So let's exit. And a couple other things. So I will just show you uh, in settings how you activate valet mode. So you create a unique code each time and now it is locked and locked a few compartments in the car. If you forget your code and you have uh, your cell phone uh, linked to the car, it'll actually send you the code in a text message, which is pretty cool.
But right now it's recording. It actually it's set to continuous recording so that if you run out of space, it'll just start over, sort of like a dash cam. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock. And then if we go back into the performance data recorder, it shows that we just had a recording of 23 seconds. You can view the recording. <laughs> there we see Jeremy walking past us and that's pretty much all we got on that one. So a couple other things, different settings. So you can choose different overlays, sport, no overlay if you just want the video. So that's the performance data recorder on the 2015 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray.